Our grandmother uh, had Alzheimer's during a period in history where there really wasn't a name for it yet. And I think it was extremely horrifying for our mother to watch her mother go downhill like that. And no one knew why, no one knew what was happening. And I think our mom lived in fear, in just, just a silent terror that this would happen to her. When she felt like her memory was, was not, not very, very good anymore and she, was, she would become reclusive and stay home a lot more and not be social and for fear of not remembering someone's name or face. And so then it started progressing and it was obvious to all of us that we were dealing with the same thing that her mother had dealt with. Indiana University School of Medicine has had um, a major focus in the area of Alzheimer's disease genetics and is well known within the United States and nationally, internationally with its focus on the genetics of Alzheimer's disease. For over 20 years, we've had a center that has identified genes that can cause Alzheimer's disease, particularly in families that have an earlier onset of the disease. We have also had a number of studies, including my own, where we have looked for genetic risk factors. Those are factors that increase the likelihood that someone will develop Alzheimer's disease. We wanted to um, tackle this. We wanted to go after it and find out, you know, how do we prevent this? How do we stop this? How do we um, live a better, healthier life so that maybe we can prevent this from happening to us? Not because of us, but our children and our husbands that'll have to take care of us. I think the disease scares me less for me than for my husband and my children. So that's when we started investigating how to further the research to get this going. We are getting older here. We need to, <laughs> let's go. Time is important because we don't yet have a cure. We don't have a treatment that we think can be applied globally and can really stop the progression of disease. So what we want to do is change this whole time factor. Through philanthropy and through donations, we can start research earlier that we hope can help develop cures and treat individuals. Research can help us do the studies that will allow us to identify people well before they onset with disease so that we can intervene and not let that person develop disease. So time is everything right now. Well, I personally fear losing my own dignity losing my own independence. Having watched our grandmother and our mother and our aunts all go through that, it's, it's, it's horrifying to see yourself going through that. There's, they're not there yet, but they gave us hope. Our money's definitely going to the right place.